Coco Twinkie versus B-Boy. It was like, I, I, both of us had no idea, you know, who actually wins that. Yeah. And it was like super back and forth, right? So, we, this might be back and forth too here. Yeah. Um, Snacko definitely, though, Snacko definitely on the grind though. He he was here asking everybody for games in Undernight yesterday, like oh, all yeah. day. All day. He probably played over 100 games in Undernight yesterday. So. Easily. He's like super warmed up, I think. Yeah. He's, and he's been coming nice. from pretty deep in a losers. Yeah. Coco Twinkie, like, this is his first losers match. Snacko, he's, he's been there, but he's still winning. Yeah. So it's definitely. Snacko might be a, a bit warmer. Hopping for Wagner against Viakia. So I'm play Orie, so I'm play some Wagner. Yeah, he has he has like a sub Orie, I think, but I think he considers Wagner his main. So we'll see how this goes here. Coco Twinkie looking kind of unstable in the previous match we had on stream with him, so we'll see if he can tighten things up. Otherwise, uh, I think I would give it to Sneku in terms of stability here. Uh, but you know, it is Byakuya. Yeah. A little uncomfortable as Wagner if you had to fight against a character who has competitive normals. Competitive normals, and when Byakuya gets to hit the reward, yeah, just like that. Really good. Takes grid with web, able to just basically choose what side he wants to be on. Sneku's already in the corner. Sneku already has the cycle. But now we're just leaving the <laughs> Pressure going. Oh, nice. oh no, confirm after the 2C. A big 5C here. Happy from Sneku. After that. Oh, oh nice back dash though. Evades the kind of run under cross up. Koko Tugi maintains his lead. 5BB though, just going straight underneath Assault. Sneku. Moving around, getting his pops for shield off the set of swords. Oh, gets EX though. Yeah, it gave Coco Twinkie the cycle too. I think that was like a, that was a pretty big loss. Yeah. Oh. Throw, take, take advantage of the minus range. Uh oh. ADP, EXDP. Gotta be careful about that. It's not the easiest punish. Sometimes you gotta try to hit the Wagner out of the air with ADP, or just continue to block. But still really scary. Now it's like back in the corner and getting hit by the two Bs. Nice. Should be a web set up. Three web? The one's already there. Yeah, he has a ground one from earlier, so nice. So it is the, uh, okay, first game goes to Coco Twinkie. First round was a little back and forth. Second round was pretty clean, though. So we'll see if that continues or Sneku has some adaptation. Yeah, we haven't really seen Sneku able to like, run this pressure game, but I think we're going to see it here. Really good round start. Off the shield! It's really interesting that he's going for shield as his primary first buff against the towers. Oh! Oh, oh no, the reset! Could have been a full combo, but now it's, it's a combo and a half, so no pretty good option. Oh, the shield causing the 5C to whip. Pokemon would be really fast about punishing it. Yeah, and here's an opportunity here. He has DP for sure. Oh, two webs though. Two. Yeah, nice throw. A little bit. Plenty of damage. We're gonna get our nice little combo. 100 meter again for more webs. Three this time. Okay, yeah. catches the shield too. Yeah, hard for Snack to get out of that. Yaku's just at that point where he just he feels the combo, he gets to back to 100 meter and he has to cycle. Yeah, nice fuzzy 5A though. Yeah, Koko Twinkie with a pretty unsafe uh, Rekka option here, but he, he will find another hit. Uh, the Byake normal is putting in quite a lot of work. Misses the delay on his combo though, but thank you now for a turn. Wow, what an anti-air! Crazy 5C. Oh, a little drop there from Seku. Yeah, I'm characteristic drop here from Seku. Uh oh, yeah, that is that happened. Life's pretty even. Oh, that's just an assault, not actually able to confirm. Seku shield. Oh, six one catches, but he cancels early, isn't able to get the second hit. That guy gets both hits, so. though. Alright, looking like good. Misses the strip. No! I don't even know why he needed that. Like, probably didn't. He probably could have just. Yeah, killed. I said strip, but he had CS. So. Oh my god, he actually lost Warble for that. Okay, wow. Okay. I think Koga probably missed the CS input there. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Sneku takes that round, but spent all, spent all of his meters to do so. 
Now he's got to work back, and Bianca just using his 5A, keeping him away. Not the fastest combo, but one of the biggest. Smashing out, gets the shield buff. Nice little pressure, walking Bianca back. Back dash is a shield, actually gets a. Seems to be plus after the first as well. Nice. 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 Moving again. Should be able to kill with CBO, but it's just off to off the web. Meter, yeah. I don't think. Ah. Uh, yeah. Really close. Yeah. I think it was probably EX Rec, uh, IW. I don't even know if that comp was though. Bianca's IW is weird. It probably does. CBO into EX Rec IW? I don't yeah. think he had it enough. Uh, maybe. Yeah, like 150. <laughs> yeah, yeah. His first hit. Pretty good for Goku. Finish with the combo. DP from Snacku, true. Oh, that guy's actually going right through 5 now. Waits for the cycle. Coco now. Oh! Nice shield in response. Yeah, I like that shield from Snacku. Ooh, to chase down Coco. Uh oh. Oh, a little far. So the DP from working there. Oh, shield almost getting hit by this halter. But doesn't DP there. But yeah, it's record comes out. It should be a good punish for Snacku. Pressure, nice save. Oh, just goes for raw overhead. Coco, one more hit here. Oh, the drop in the reset. Oh my god, but doesn't get punished. 27 seconds on the clock down. It's anyone's game yet again. We have so much gas here though. Nice, so easy. Oh, the charge catching the back dash. Yeah, Bianca and Tear game a little tricky sometimes. That, that was definitely a good example. Oh, wow, Rensar dashed me though. Back is really good, but Seku changing it up to work out well, but now with a drop. Doesn't let Bianca actually get his Oki set up. Bro though. Well, Saul gets shielded. Seku's gonna take the cycle with that. Trying to do a Saul over the button. And Bianca, Juicy still will catch it. We can actually see it. Next it does. Three webs again. Forward dash, back dash. Top is still there. You have to be watching out. Oh right. my that god! We pranked ourselves a little bit. Yeah. I'm sure the risky option trying to gain some space, but dies for it. Ooh, rounds are dashy, winning out. Oh, it's high BB. Yeah, she'll tackle a little bit too far away. He's gonna be ready to whip punish. Gets the side bomb and now off, off for web. <laughs> Throw tag. Nice tag. Tagged out after his pressure. Two C's, no tagger. Another nice. for Biog. Has four full. Just off to great overhead. Catch his next hit something to try and tag it, but. Yeah, that was very clean. 3-0, Byakuya, set play. It is 3-5, but of course everything here is 3-5. Mario versus Deeps. And sitting down with me, the lovely Coco Twinkie. Don, how you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm caffeinated. Yeah. I hit combos. Nice. Yeah, this, this is a very clean. That, that that looked like a big bounce back from your previous top eight match. So <laughs> kind of getting everything together. That was good. Yeah, so the previous top eight match, not my best performance, but we got to move forward, you know? We are indeed moving forward here. We are at winner's finals. So we're, we're the, finish the, the end, the goal is in sight here, the finish line. Uh, we got... Mario vs. Steve, so we got the, the NorCal match here. I was going to say, very, very common NorCal dogfight. Yeah. Some, somewhere in the deep winners. Yeah, both these players uh, driving out here for the Bay Area. We got Wagner versus Bordeaux. It's not going to be any surprises here, I think. Yeah. Uh, Mario not opting for, like, Biakia or Batista or any of his other subs. He's going to play Wagner. Yeah, the Batista was oppressive from, from a full screen distance, I think, even. Mm -hmm. Um, but I, I, I kind of like watching this matchup because I feel like uh, where Gordo's dead zone kind of is, uh, it's where Wagner's really good. Yeah, right here in the 6B range. Yeah. 
Basically outside Gordo 2C. Yeah, outside 2C, but still closer than 5C. Uh, that's where Wagner wants to be, and that's where she wants to shine. Yeah. Oh! Alright, Deep So. You say that, but Deep is looking really good here. He gets a really great goal drop, but JC saves himself, actually. 3 CCS, he's a big fan of that. But uh, Mario not really cracking. Oh my god! I really like Deep's use to uh, Gordo's like aerial specials to maneuver. Yeah. He's, he's very unique in that aspect of the Gordo player. Alright, so. We got. Oh no! Uh, I, you know, I actually really respect that VO though. That, that really would have turned the round around, like, close the door on this round for, yeah, for sure. Deeps, but instead now Mario has a really good chance here. The frame kill the IW. I think he will punish. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Dude, I okay. As somebody who routinely does not know how to punish that with certain characters, like I'm really surprised that Mario's six be with there. All right, that is still gonna be the round. Deep. Uh, he was reading very deeply at the end of that set. Like shielding, shield tackle, and back dashing can only have been a DP read. Uh, so things like that being like, pretty interesting, but we are in round two now. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't block that, but I think he might have thought it was going to go on the other side or something like oh, that. Right. But, you know. All right, we got the buff. Nice. Nice. You see. Yeah. Side switch. No side switch. No side switch. Okay. going to take that 3k. Damn, I yeah. think that caught the back dash. Yep. Uh, Gordo backdash is really good, and backdash itself is uh, kind of annoying for Wagner to deal with. She often does kind of have to call it out with, yeah. uh, with Dash C. And uh, that's also a pretty common situation. Uh, drill drill CS, and then you're expecting the JA. So a stand shield there is actually like not a bad guess if you're just going to get something. But uh, Mario slightly uh, you know, one step ahead on those reads. Juicy sweep though. Yeah, nice drink the counter hit. Gets to confirm. Steals some grids. Shields though, wow, yeah, unbelievable. Just give it away cycle. Very close shield timing by Mario. Counter hit throw. Alright. Combo throw. Doesn't get the full thing, but we do have CS. He did go for the hard route, I think. So. Oh, just jumps over the big move. Okay, and wow, anti-air EX command grab. Okay. Ooh. I actually, I don't know the last time I've seen that. There's a lot of dash needs going on here. Yeah, Mario's definitely trying to cut the ankle. DK, that should be definitely big. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, wake up EX uh, Air Mortal. Certainly an option. Very good staggers. Okay, well, get TP. Yeah, there, Mario actually letting it rip. Oh, I think that was a good read, too, from these, but uh, just couldn't dash far enough. To get Definitely would have gone. That, that would have worked in EL. <laughs> uh, it would, it would have. <laughs> Alright, we are blocking forever and we are yeah, getting clean. Yeah, Deeps misses the shield on the air, the air option there. Yeah, I guess the, really the one good thing against about fighting Wagner, if you get shield broken, it's coming back almost immediately. She does so much block stuff. <laughs> You're not grid broken for very long. I was watching the bar and it was yeah. just like chunking back. Right. Oh one round of peace here in game two, but Mario with a really good start. Peter, really nice thing for Wagner to have called a lot of things here. Think it be said about Gordo though. So in this matchup, what do you think is the buff that she should be going for? Because I see a lot of in, in this matchup specifically, what buff do you think she should be going for? I mean, I think it's pretty orthodox here. I, I think I you don't I don't think you need shield as often. Okay. Um, and sword for the confirms is nice, but I feel like you kind of operate okay without anything, honestly. Okay. Because um, you don't really have to worry about fireballs. Yeah. No, that's true. So, you know, sword buff is, is obviously, like, just a more nice overall unless you really wanted to call things out with, like, you know, with a power tackle. But in this matchup, yeah. I don't think it's really that big of a problem. Okay. Well, Mario, up to two, two games now. I was going to say, while we were talking about buffs, Mario takes him to Deep's going to character select. I was going to say, this has to be like taking a breather, right? Yeah, stage? You want him to stage? stage. Yeah.
like it. He doesn't like the Street Fighter 4 underpass. Also picking vanilla Gordo color. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Maybe it's the power of... I <laughs> well, they don't have its color, I think, so maybe... Oh, I see, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm lucky that I enjoy the <laughs> Betrayal of Savior. It's a really good color line. The black and the gold. Yeah. Oh, wow. Definitely yeah, got caught standing up. Kind of jump scared him with that 2A a little bit. Oh, that empty low would have killed him. Alright, let's turn it around, D. That is not how he turns oh, around. <laughs> yeah, that's the second time this set now. Deep's Kai gone for a desperation video, and Mario is not having any of it. Yeah, dab. Micro Dash 4B. Pretty interesting choice from Deep. It is not paying out. He's done 4B a couple times, and it's whipped on her several. It's definitely not a Biaki of 5B, we can say that much. Ooh, I, I like that CS trying to read the green shield. Not gonna work out though, and now Mario just trying to finish his plate. That was very reminiscent of like uh that it? SFX yeah, it like is Rolando. Yeah. yeah. Jab walk, jab, punch, jab walk. Alright, Mario 3-0.